Data analytics is a pretty subjective concept. Ask anyone if they know what data analytics is, and they'll say something about mining, crunching numbers, forecasting models, but how do we actually test for it in an interview? How am I supposed to ask you if you know data analytics? In this video, we're gonna go over the three different ways that data analytics can come up in the interview and how to prepare for it when you get there. Data analytics is a tough concept to test in interviews. The consequences of how hard it is to test for data analytics has made it super non-standard across the board. So one company will have one idea of how to test for data analytics using SQL, someone else might just ask you to present like a data visualization that you did before. That being said, I think there's some pretty common skill-based ways that most companies do test for data analytics. They almost always involve some theoretical data set or potentially one that's real live and populated with fake data. And most of the time they're looking at for your real technical skills and being able to analyze that data or come up with different kinds of frameworks and apply thinking that you would do to a theoretical data set. For example, the first one that I'm talking about is analyzing data for a take-home assignment. When you get a take-home assignment, it's a pretty common part of the process for data analysts that are junior or maybe more mid-level in the roles that they're undertaking. Generally receive a data set, you'll get some questions around the data set basically talking about it and some brief description of what the data set represents. For example, pretend that we get a bunch of event data from an e-commerce website just in one data set CSV file. They'll probably ask you to analyze the data set and come up with different insights that you can uncover and present them in a report later on. Another way is they could ask you a directed question from this data set that you have to return an answer for, and then they compare that answer against their own answer. So for example, they could ask you from this data set, how many people converted as customers that were originally users in January, right? And basically you would have to then write a query or use pandas to essentially get that data out and write it in as your solution. The second common type of question is the data analytics case study question. Now the data analytics case study question is pretty common. I've gone over it before. You can check a video more in depth below on how to solve it. But generally the data analytics case study gives you a product case study as well as a fake data set and then ask you a hypothetical question that you then have to dig in the data set to answer. For example, let's say that we run a e-commerce company. How do we know if the new socks generated more sales for the entire company? In which then you'd have to go into this data set of sales and try to parse out to see exactly how much sales the new socks actually generate. This involves you understanding what metrics to actually return as well as what kind of hypotheses and analytics that you should actually write into your code. The last one is the data analytics live presentation. Now the data analytics live presentation is basically where we go and we present some insights that we did before in a take home assignment or when we're coding live with the interviewer right next to us. This one is definitely the most intense because you're not only showcasing that you can take their fake data set or many times a sample of their real data set if they ask you to sign an NDA and basically turn that into some sort of knowledge or insight that they haven't had before. Sometimes this also does result in a lot of like kind of free work going on which is why I find it a little bit more shady but generally this is the closest that you can get to actually working at their company and also like putting in real value and demonstrating that you can contribute real value if you come up with a new insight. I don't usually recommend this. I would recommend actually giving the candidate a paid trial if you're a company thinking about doing this. Otherwise, if you're also more junior and they don't really have a lot of time, but they think that you're smart, they might also do this as well unpaid, unfortunately. So last thoughts I want to make is that there is a couple of key differences here in the terminology I'm using around data analytics and data analyst interviews. Data analytics questions are focused on actually how to tackle a specific kind of interview question, basically around the data sets and the case studies that I just mentioned. And data analyst interviews are basically interviews for roles that call themselves data analysts. And so many times data analyst roles might not even ever get these kinds of questions. It might just get some behavioral interview questions. I've seen that pretty common, but if you're looking at more higher level roles, so basically if you're going for senior and more senior roles, you're going to start encountering this because companies are trying to hire, uh, you know, stronger candidates that have that solid technical foundation as well as that communication seal. You can see the kind of interview questions that a data analyst gets that's asked in this visualization over here. And you can note that it's not all about analytics. There's a lot of stuff around Python as well as SQL, both that are tested here, but specifically also around probability and stats. So thanks for watching everyone. If you guys have any other questions, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, please like and subscribe to the video and I'll see you guys next time.